Howdy folks, we are back for week three of Draft League. This is going to be the Arizona Birds of Prey, myself against Vaughn. Um, I did a whole bunch of mocks with Sean. I did some subsequent mocks with Anima. Uh, my biggest fear on Vaughn's team heading into this was the Terra Captain Frozmoth. And he didn't bring it, so I'm feeling pretty good about this matchup. I mean, it's a few things that I haven't really dealt with in mocks, but um, I pretty much have a grasp on his team. I uh, could make uh, Screamtail kind of kind of iffy because I kind of made that my check to Frozmoth because it. In some of the mocks, especially against Sean, it would just quiver dance up and destroy me, which is not a whole lot of fun. So we'll, we'll see how this goes. I'm going to lead Magneton because he doesn't have a ground type and I can kind of freely volt switch. Unless he leads with this because he could go for an earthquake. Could also set up rocks but I'm just going to go ahead and protect here and see what he wants to do. I didn't know what filler move would be better on Magneton than protect, and in this instance it kind of works. So the thing is, if he is max speed Metagross, he's going to outspeed me. If he's more bulk invested, which it looks like maybe he is, given that he set up rocks, maybe we'll outspeed him? Perhaps that's wishful thinking. I'm just gonna go for Volt Switch and see what happens. thinking about it, so it makes me think that he maybe doesn't have, like, Earthquake on this. Okay, he goes Heavy Slam, that's gonna do nothing. Volt Switch with the Analytic Boost, it's gonna do a lot. So... Let's see... Gross has heavy slam and rocks. I think I'm just gonna go Flygon and threaten this thing out because the only thing that he can swap in is Staraptor. And I don't know that he has a reason not to switch and go for that unless he has like ice punch on this thing so i'm not gonna mess around and set up i'm just gonna try and hit what's in front of me thing is i don't know if fire punch would kill from here maybe it would but i don't know if that's worth the risk the thing is it would hit staraptor but let's just try and hit what's in front of us and go for earthquake so they are gonna switch And then they're gonna go into Granville. Aha! The clear amulet! Already paying dividends! <laughs> okay, interesting. So I don't know what this is gonna have to hit me. So I think we just go for it here, honestly. I think we have enough coverage to kind of deal with his team. It might be a little early because he has War Turtle, but... Ah, is it too early to do that? I kind of want to just set up in his face after we Terra, obviously. I think he's going to go for a fairy move, so... Ah, the thing is, I don't want to commit the Terra this early. Let's swap into Magneton, because there's no way he would go for Earthquake on a Levitator, unless he's a madman, so... Okay, 
goes for crunch. So that does a little chunk, nothing too crazy. Here, I think we're safe to just fire off a flash cannon. There's nothing on his team barring War Turtle, which doesn't want to face off with a Magneton is going to appreciate it. I also have enough speed on Magneton specifically for this if he's running like Adam at max speed and anything slower than that. Because I was afraid of this thing potentially outspeeding and going for an earthquake, which it gets, and just taking out dial-up, which would not be fun. Flash cannon, we do outspeed with those EVs, and that's going to take out Granville, so that is one threat out of the way. Magneton KOs Granville with Flash. Cool, alright, so one thing down. Goes into Hakamo O. I think. Does this thing get Earthquake? Probably. Thing is, I have two things that switch into Earthquake pretty easily, so I'm just gonna go for a Volt Switch here. Yeah, let's just commit to that, because I don't want him to, Yeah, so I figured he was going to set up with Dragon Dance or similar. Okay, so Volt Switch does more than half with the Analytic Boost. So here, I think we can go into Scream Tail. The thing is, this is one of his Terra Captains. It's not the only one that he brought to this battle, because Staraptor is also. But I kind of get the sense that, like, fearing a fairy move here, he might Terra. The thing is, do I care? I'm just going to go for a play rough, because that's going to hurt this thing. I feel like we should still outspeed even with them at plus one, because Screamtail is very fast. I think it depends, though, because I gave it enough EVs to outspeed, like, Modest Frozmoth at plus one. So if this thing is, like, jolly max speed, it might still outspeed us, but he might also be fearing, like, Encore. Might think that we're just going to lock him into that move, but maybe he won't think that Screamtail has it. In this case, we actually don't, because I was finding in some of the mocks that T-Wave was just a better overall shout against Frozmoth. Iron Head at plus one hurts, but doesn't do a ton, and then we flinch. That stinks. Okay, so what do we do from here? We can probably live one more. The question is, do I want to? Not particularly. Ah, that really stings. So he did end up outspeeding us, which probably means that he's max speed Jolly or max speed Adamant. Let's turn another Iron Head here. That's going to do nothing to dial up. And we can just freely Volt Switch again. If he has Earthquake or a Fighting Move or something, we kind of just have to deal with that at this point. But that flinch was pretty huge, because we would have easily taken this thing out with Play Rough. Certainly thinking it over. Which 
makes me think that he doesn't have, like, Drain Punch, because I would have clicked that instantaneously. So he goes for Iron Head again, maybe predicting another fancy double switch, but not going to do that, and that's just going to take it out. So Magneton, KOs, Akamo with Bolt Switch. All right, two down, and... I'm just gonna go to my Scarfer. At some point I do want to get the rocks away, but they're not chipping us too, too terribly at this point. And I also don't really want to have to commit Terra on Colossal if I don't have to. Here is the Staraptor. I will outspeed because I'm Scarfed, so even if this thing is Scarfed, that's not going to help him. But I know that a Stone Edge is not going to be enough, barring a crit, to take this thing out. So I think I just U-turn. Just safe. It does very little. That's okay. Get a little chip, and then what would he go for? Probably like a Brave Bird, so maybe here we go into Colossal. Oh, and they U turn. Get a burn. Get a burn. Flame Body. Nope, didn't get it. That's unfortunate. So here we might have to commit our Terra, depending upon what he brings in. in War Turtle. Um, I do really want to spin the rocks away. So I think in order to do that, I'm going to have to Terra and Rapid Spin. He might have brought this in thinking like, okay, I can spin your rocks away, but... At this point, they're not even up, so let's just make the obvious play. I'm not thrilled that I'm having to tear a Colossal, but it's just necessary, because it means, yeah, if he goes for any kind of water move, that, that's actually a very risky play on his part, because we could have got Flame Body there, too, unless he's, like, protective pads. I think Flip Turn is contact. I could be wrong. And he doesn't have a spin blocker with a ghost type, so... Goes into shift tree. So we spin away the rocks. I don't love the matchup with us being water type against this thing. So let's go into Curum. I believe we quad resist grass, so that's probably a good shout. I think he would go for like maybe Tailwind or something, anticipating us to switch, but it's just it's not worth it to me to stay in. Okay, so they do go for the grass move. It's not gonna be much to cure him. And now I feel like we can pretty freely just go for a freeze dry. So that'll hit War Turtle if he tries to go to that. Draw. Good. Metagross. Freeze Dry is not going to be enough, but we're not locked in, and I feel pretty comfortable going for an Earth Power here because he showed us earlier he's not choice, so I don't think there's any way that he outspeeds. Does Bullet Punch, I think we live. Yeah, we do. And Earth Power is going to take out Metagross. So, KOs Metagross with Earth Power. Alright, another one bites the dust. Now Metagross is down. They're down to 
Staraptor, Wartortle, and Shiftry, none of which really appreciate the matchup with Curum. But he does go Staraptor, which kind of tells me that he's Scarfed. And I would anticipate like a Scarf close combat probably coming out here. Or just like a double edge, but either way, I can just go back to Colossal. Potentially get some late game rocks here just to get added ship on the Staraptor when it comes in. He goes for U-turn again. Come on, Flame Body. There it is. Okay, so we burn the Staraptor. So now the Staraptor is not even a threat. Now he can go into Shiftry again. Which he does. I think we can pretty safely go into Halucha, honestly. Or would he, like, predict us to switch and go for a different move? I mean, I don't really need Colossal moving forward, so let's just predict him to over-predict. Okay, so they go for Tailwind. But now we get our, our rocks up late game, which is nice. They're gonna get the attack boost from Windrider. Enjoy this set, it's very cool. So we set up our rocks. So we know that Shiftry has at least Petal Blizzard and Tailwind. I mean, let's just stay in and, and Wisp. I'm curious even at plus one if they can kill us. We're just a beast, but... Yeah, see, look at that. That's crazy. Colossal is just so tanky. Just eats that plus one Petal Blizzard like it's nothing. And then we get the burn off. So now this thing is burned and shit. So that's probably going to be a wrap. I'm going to try and preserve... Colossal. Let's do the play that I wanted to make and go into Halucha, because we resist dark and we resist grass, so I'm hopeful that we'll be able to take a hit and maybe we can just kill something with Brave Bird. Oh, grassy terrain, that's interesting. So maybe they'll have, like, Sucker Punch, but I'm not really fearing that. And their Tailwind is still up, I want to say, but that doesn't really matter, because I don't think that he has a move that can hit us. And uh, let's actually go U-turn, because it's quite effective against this thing. So they knock off. That's funny, because that actually knocks off my Choice Scarf, which would trigger Unburden, but because we're U-turning and KOing this, we lose that. So that's kind of a bummer, but... Uh, Halucha KOs Shiftry with U-Turn. So now I think it's kind of guaranteed that he's going into um, Staraptor here. I guess we can just go into Colossal. It's very fortunate that we burn the Staraptor now because him knocking off my Choice Scarf means that if his Staraptor is Scarf, it's faster than my entire team, but it's burned, so it's not going to be hitting as hard, which is nice. And it switches in on the rocks. So, I mean, here Colossal has served its purpose and then some, so let's just go for Power Gem on the off chance that we live something. So they're going to commit their Terra with Staraptor. They don't really have a choice because Hakamo O is gone, so this is the only thing left that can Terra. And Terra fighting. Go for a Brave Bird, interesting. Okay, yeah, so we live even that. That's crazy. 
Colossal is such a beast. Power Gem does not do much because it's now fighting type. And I'm gonna assume that he's locked into that, and I'm just gonna go into Scream Tail now. combat with the fighting move, so that is not the best play, but now <laughs> knowing that it's Brave Bird and <laughs> not close combat, we can s just keep switching around, because we spun the rocks away, so now we don't have to worry about mindlessly switching like this, because we're not taking damage. Another Brave Bird that does 10, literally 10. restore my health because he set up grassy terrain. That was maybe not the smartest play, although it does disappear now. And now I can very safely just lock in with Thunderbolt because this thing, even with a crit, I don't think Great Bird is going to do anything. So that time it did 11, so a little bit more. So Magneton is going to KO Staraptor. And all that's left now is the War Turtle, which I think even if it is like max speed, I don't know that it can outspeed this because War Turtle is very slow if it doesn't have a a boost up. So let's just fire away with a Thunderbolt and see what happens. Bang and gone. So Magneton cleans up. KOs War Turtle with T Bolt. That's gonna be a wrap. Again, I was very much fearing Terra Fairy Frozmoth from Vaughn's team, and even like Samurott Hisui is scary, but he didn't bring either of those, so I feel like we were very well prepared for some of those maybe catch you off guard kind of threats like Hakamo O and such. Even though he did get that flinch early, that was that was less than ideal with Screamtail, but we, we fought through that and uh, got the W, so GG.